Hello my dear hobbits, our quest to find the best chocolate bar in the world continues and today we're looking at Carl Faser from Finland. That's right, so this is our first Finnish chocolate and uh, let's explain our Finnish friends on how this works. Let's go to the map, Peter. Where's that map button? Alright, so if you look at the map so far it seems like 7 is the new standard, you know, most of the countries are there. Uh -huh. um, so last episode we had a it was a new champion. That's right. It's very, very exciting episode. Finally, after I think we had Flake in episode three as the winner, and then what episode fifteen was it? Yeah, fourteen. Fourteen. Wow, that's eleven episodes. Uh, a very exciting, and it's kind of convenient that after uh, you know a Swedish chocolate wins, we get Finnish chocolates at a door. Just go next door. Hmm. I don't know. I think these Scandinavian countries. Why are you so competitive? <laughs> Why can't you just let each other be? You're all winners, in my opinion, except for Denmark, of course. I mean, <laughs> they're at 2.75 so yeah, far. Yeah, yeah. But we'll be back. We'll right? be back. We'll, we'll give uh, them another shot. For we'll sure. get them above five, at least. We'll try. So, Finland. Finland, yeah. Do you like Finland? I love Finland. <laughs> um, did you know that Finland is probably the most metal country in the world? More metal than sweet? Yes. Really? Yes. They have the highest... Um, number of metal bands per capita oh so, yeah so for like a hundred thousand people they have like 55 bands wow and that's like way above any other country in the world a hundred thousand people next is like i think 55 uh, bands yeah 55 metal bands yeah that, that's yeah. insane yeah bands like children of bodom yeah children of bodom. my favorite nightwish Night you know Wish. astronomy right here all great stuff what what is that this is the metal band from Finland. I he's all into popular stuff. This is a bit more of the obscure right. side, you know. Right, right. This is my kind of thing. Obviously. <laughs> all right, and yeah, yeah. Finland, Finland's just like the rest of the Scandinavian countries. You know, they're the the, the the press is the freest in the world. They're the stablest country. No matter how you rock it, they just stand there. Just, all the good stuff. <laughs> all the good stuff. But they're chocolates. We don't know. We don't know. So we're looking at. Carl Faser, I think the name for this is Faser Blue. Faser Blue. So yeah. Carl means blue in... Uh... No, that's the, I think that's the guy. But I think Faser Blue... Who's Carl? Carl Faser is a Finnish dude that started this whole thing. Okay. Nice. And um, yeah, so this is a classic kind of thing. I think apparently this chocolate came around in 1922. Oh. And uh, the recipe hasn't changed since. So this is the original. This is... Yeah, I think this is the, sorry, this is the pride of Finland right here. Wow. Yeah. And honestly, this chocolate, when you look at it, it's uh, milk chocolate. And we look at the ingredients, it has the least number of ingredients so far. So it's, I think this is like a very simple, simple, pure kind of good chocolate. That's my expectations mm -hmm. from this at least. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a good, that's a very good thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, wrapper? Wrapper. Whoa. It's it's an elegant wrapper. Exactly. Um, it was a bit stubborn. When I was trying to take a picture of it. I was trying to like bend this back, and it was looking. It's a stubborn wrapper. It's a very it's a very non -com compromising. Mm hmm. Well, it's only Finland stable. So are their wrappers. That won't just budge like that. That all makes sense. It's a very sophisticated wrapper. I feel like you know when you go you know when you go to a dinner you get like yes. a peppermint. I feel like yes. when you went to like a really fancy expensive restaurant. Mm -hmm. They give you a Carl Fazer. Yeah, it's like, there you go, sir. Yeah. Or if you went to the theater, I'd bring this. This is classy. You don't sure. want to bring like Kit Kat to embarrass yourself. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Kit Kat's opposite of classy. <laughs> and this is, Crimes I don't know, I can word. go on and on about this wrapper. I feel like Please do. If, if, uh, if you're like, you know, you just started dating someone, you're like a month in, uh -huh. and it's Valentine's, and it's all awkward, you know, you don't want to give them hearts and all this teddy bears. You're going to look desperate. Give him a Carl Fazer. Yeah, it seems it seems kind of cold though. No, it's give him a Carl Fazer. It's like I respect you. No, this is kind of like I don't love you just yet, but there is a chance. That's what that's <laughs> that's the slogan for this chocolate. Okay, <laughs> that's what the Carl Fazer is. You ready? Yeah, of course. I'm All right, ready. let's go so, to the wrapping challenge. I am. I don't want to play this game anymore. You don't stand a chance. I do. St we, can you put your hand back for oh. once? Oh, my goodness. So what is it? 3-0 for you? Yeah, something like that. I was counting. Oh, you seem too confident. <laughs> I 
I don't like this one bit. Oh, I'm killing you. I'm destroying you. You're panicking, Peter. This is, oh. this is a tough, tough. Damn you, Finland. How is this? Why can't you be they... more flexible and Why? not so... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I got it. I got Almost. it, too. I got it, too. I'm... Uh, 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 uh. You ripped it. You ripped I it. Didn't. I heard you. No. This is a perfect open. Again. Again. No, no, no. No! Fully ah! open. Every time. But this was at least close. Let me see. I ripped it. But uh, but no, look. I was going. I got it on the seam. I I saw you ahead and I was like... I, it's your standard performance. I tried that. Ripping it. I know, but... Mm. Let's see. Nicely divided into five. Five units. Five units. It's shareable. I'm not sure, sure I like that. I'll five give you a friends. piece, but I just can't take one off. That's why you have an excuse. Break nicely. Yeah, five pieces. Yeah, it's a pretty look. So this is solid chocolate, huh? Is it? There's I don't no. Know. Is it? I don't no, know. I think I there's wonder. like. Is there a filling? Oh, you, oh, that's a good point. I don't. We'll see. Let's find out. All right. Hmm. No. Hmm. Solid. I was gonna say very plain, but the flavor is kicking in. It's smooth. <laughs> it's smooth. It's milky. Mm -hmm. Slightly, maybe buttery, but not too much. Mm -hmm. It's not like a Lindor. Mm, I see. It's getting to me now. Mm. It's a good flavor. It takes a few bites. Mm -hmm. I think this is not one of those you take like small bites out of. You take one whole square, and the richness just comes to you. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just gotta just dive into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, one one piece was um. There's a build up to it. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for us to deliberate. We'll be back shortly with our scores. All right. And we're back. So, Zoran, in the past you've uh, you said that some chocolate bars you almost did not taste the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Did you <laughs> taste the chocolate? I did. This was yeah. This was quite the opposite. I found that when I took the first bite, when you start, it was kind of hard and flavorless. I'm like, this is the pride of Finland. You know, I was very mm -hmm. disappointed. But then as you Chew it, it melts, and then you really feel that like really thick, really rich, kind of like a flavor of chocolate in it. So yeah, mm. definitely. We've kind of started this trend lately with the last one, with Italian chocolate, and this one. Mm -hmm. They uh, yeah, they definitely are chocolatey than the rest of the stuff we tried. Yeah. So what do you think? We're about to give our scores. Um, I know the Swedes are shaking. They're finally like, come on, man. Don't do this to us. We finally have the chocolate on the throne and you're going to beat us. Well, maybe. You know, we got to be just on this show. That's right? true. That's true. So what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts, um, this is certainly a good chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's chocolate. You can't go wrong with chocolate, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I would say this is good chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's not the best chocolate I've had. But yeah. it's it's quite good. It's definitely a quality chocolate bar. Um, myself, I probably would have liked some other ingredient other than chocolate. Something. Yeah, this is a very bare bones yeah. kind of plain chocolate. Yeah. It's a chocolate that's not going to offend anyone. That's true. But I agree with you. They could have used an ingredient or two mm -hmm. with that just to, you know, what's it called? Spice it up a bit. Yeah. You know, change things up a bit. Throw an almond in there or a hazelnut. <laughs> Yeah. No, so I'll say for me this is an eight. Really? You seem surprised. You seem. Are it, you? you um, well, I guess I'll go with my score. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven. It's a it's a good chocolate, um, but I could use more. As I said, it just it's 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 a pretty plain good good milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, for low curve for the Italian one that actually had hazelnuts and stuff, that was seven and a half. Right. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was yeah. kind of on the bitter side, but they still had hazelnut. So. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. That gives us the final score of seven and a half. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good score. You want to go to the map and quickly update this? Sure. All right. So there is Finland with seven and a half. So 
So Finland, that was pretty good. That's a good good start. I did a bit of research on my own. You guys have so many more uh, options. I mean, we, we started with something that's the plainest, but I've seen many, many different Carl Fazers. There's a Gisha chocolate, Gisha Peter. Oh. Yeah, it just sounds very exquisite. Uh -huh. So let us know in the comments what we should try next, and we'll be back. Also, uh, one thing that Carl Fazer is a pretty cool name. It's not a bad name. Oh, I, I keep thinking of like a toothless kid that can't say Darth Vader like Carl Faber. <laughs> so this wraps up episode 15 of our quest to find the best chocolate bar in the world. Tell us what you think in the comments. You know, if you'd like to follow our journey, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the logo right here or here. We don't care which way, you know, you do it. Thank you for watching. Finland, we'll be back. Until next time, I'm Zorn. I'm Peter. And you're watching the recliner. Goodbye.